1200 West Shore Boulevard, Tampa, Florida. Deep in the heart of the hotel district. Welcome to the Ramada Inn. There is much ahead, my friends. There's much inside. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Cotta. <laughs> I don't know why. That just popped in there. I, I, I feel like opening the video with a retro television theme song that has nothing to do with the video you're about to watch. Welcome to Tampa Bay Screams, my friends. Another convention. Yes, we love conventions here on this channel. We featured a ton of them. So good to have you back. If it's your first time, welcome. We're about to go inside the Ramada and check out Tampa Bay Screams. Sounds like a horror convention. Well, that's because it is. I love horror movies, scary movies. Some of my absolute favorites. You can check that out on my Instagram. It says horror films right there. Check that out. I don't know why. Plug the Instagram. But anyways, yes, we're going to go check this out. All I know about this convention is there are some celebrities here, and that's about it. So it could be small. It could be large. We're going to figure that out together, though. It's always a good time exploring places with you. All right, let's talk more rock. Let's head inside. And here we go. Don't see any... Don't see any ghosts or goblins walking around. Oh, there is a board right here. Tampa Bay Screams Horror Convention. Whoa, okay, I don't think these are part of the convention. They are cool looking though. I think I found the expo hall right over there. Yep, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It is a two day event, Friday and Saturday, $20 for entry. And I'm about to pick up my ticket. I reserved it online. Well, hello, Captain Spaulding. <laughs> oh, he's masked up too, look at that. Well, here we are. It's just a small expo hall. Small compared to a lot of the conventions we've been to. But there's a lot of stuff going on in here. And we can explore it together. It's always cool to see vintage Godzilla toys. Look at these. There's some really good ones up here as well. Look at that. Hey, we got some cosplay. Hello there, Critter. Hi. Nice to see you. Hope you're enjoying the con. Yeah. And of course, we have horror films. Some rare ones, too, of the BC and foreign genres over here. All packaged by a company called Feature Creature. We will use Kindred. Look at that. That's that's a crazy looking movie. We will use Kindred as an example, but check it out on the back of the packaging there in the left corner. Creature Feature Films, all these rare movie titles which you will not find on Netflix. So Lisa Wilcox from A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, Dream Master is here. And I've always wanted to meet her. She actually has a YouTube channel. And Part 4 is one of my favorites. There's something about a Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 and 4 that I just love. It's kind of like with Rocky, you know, the original's the best, but there's just something about Part 3 and 4, Rocky and A Nightmare on Elm Street, comparing those movies, that genre doesn't work, but there's something about Parts 3 and 4 with both those sagas. Okay, Lisa Wilcox. So nice to meet you, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> All right. How do I spell your name? Okay, so it's Tampa, like the city, and then space, J-A-Y, Tampa okay. J. Okay. And uh, Lisa has a, a YouTube channel. I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. I've watched a lot of her filming locations for part four, mm. as you know. <laughs> She's in part four. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, right. check, check it out. Lisa Wilcox, actress. And then you can see all the episodes I did. I think I did, what, seven mm -hmm. or seven or eight or something? Yeah, quite a few. Um, I enjoyed them. I look forward to checking those out for myself someday. As I said, I, I do filming locations, so. So Part yeah, you have to see. You can probably four. give me some tips. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. The, I'm getting there. You, I really enjoyed your content, though. That was really good. Thank you. You're welcome. There she is, signing her photo there for me. That's awesome. Yes, Special moment here. Okay, this is what I like to call an eclectic endeavor. We're gonna explore this table. There's a lot of cool stuff over here. Let's see what's going on. The first thing that popped out of me is some Lost in Space VHS tapes. If you're watching the last video, I, I picked up some VHS tapes at the last con. Look at that! Danger, danger! Will Robinson, love that old show. They have the old Superman series there. 
a lot of vintage uh, science fiction books and novels going on over here. Look at this, Mr. Eastwood, Thunderfoot and Lightfoot. That, that was a good movie, that's the novel for the movie. And just some DVDs over here, some Star Wars. Got a lot of those back home. And, oh, these are cool, these Matchbox cars. You got Leatherface, you got good old Freddy. Who's this over here, of course, Jason Voorhees. Oh, and a little, and a little rat, a little rat. 50 cents, hey, that's a deal. I'll have to break some change. Oh boy, Marilyn Eastman from the original Night of the Living Dead. What an honor and a pleasure and a privilege it was to have a conversation with Marilyn Eastman there. I asked her a question. There was a rumor that she was in an episode of Perry Mason and I approached her and I said, hey, is it true that you, Marilyn, were you in an episode of Perry Mason? And she's like, no, I was not. There is actually another actress that went by, had the same name, Marilyn Eastman, that played in that episode. And until this day, she is always mistaken because of the name and her fame that she was in that episode of Perry Mason, the old classic TV show. And she confirmed that she, that was not her. And she, she was happy to talk about that. And she said, I was the first person to ever ask her that. And she really appreciated it. Uh, I wish I could have got that on film, but I did get this awesome picture with Marilyn, Marilyn Eastman of Night of the Living Dead. So awesome. Yeah, so if she's watching this, thanks Marilyn, it was so nice to meet you. Brains. Brains. Whoa, 15 bucks, that's fresh. And look, throwing some fingers. Oh wait, those are candles. <laughs> some finger candles. Those are finger licking good, actually. I don't think you want to lick those. Just had a special moment with special effects guru Nick Benson he was in on trimmers he actually designed the giant heads and trimmers trimmers is one of my favorite horror movies it's very cool to meet him take a photo even I got a photo with him check it out and I grabbed a trimmers poster and he was also in on Nightmare on Elm Street part 4 a lot of special effects and all kinds of other horror movies so check him out on social media Mr. Nick Vincent. And what's a convention without comic books? And of course, horror comic books. This gentleman right here, I, I believe you're a comic book artist? Yes. What's your name, sir? David Summy. And you made all these comic books over yes. here? Yes, yes. You got Return to Cinder. Uh, it's a comic book that me and my daughter created. And um, we brought it to life. It's a supernatural Western horror. And um, you know, I do all the illustration in it and most of the writing. And then um, we're going to do number two coming out this year. Number two. Yeah. Okay, well, sounds good, man. It's nice to meet you. Nice they can you can too. they check out your information somewhere? Or? Yes, go to Facebook, Nick and Cannibal Campers Group. We can go All to right. uh, Return to Cinder. Return to, Return to Cinder. I'm thinking Elvis. Yeah, that's right. And then also um, R&D Comics. R&D Comics. So there, there you go. Check it out, guys. Oh, Vampires. The Complete Guide to the World of the Undead. Five bucks. Now, that's a deal. Check this out. H.O.P. Toys. High on plastic. It looks like... Some homemade toy. It's a homemade toy company. Let's check out some of these toys. Look at this guy. We're the world's first and only officially licensed robot monster toys. That's robot monster toys. That's awesome. Oh, and these guys over here. Earth versus the flying That's so cool. It's like the you know the day the Earth stood still kind of. Kind of like helmet comes off. Oh, there he is. We got an example. Whoa. <laughs> That's so cool. How much is this uh, run? 40 bucks? Look at these bunch of misfits. They're actually called misfits. Wow, all kinds of colors. What are they made of? Vinyl. Made of vinyl, like records, man. That's so cool. Is this Mothman expired? Oh, it is the Mothman. You created this one too, right? That is awesome. Stephen King original hardbacks. That's that's pretty awesome. Let's pick out one of them. There's Gerald's Game. Oh, and Dolores Claiborne actually has. Whoa. Got it. Thank you. Hey, there's Steven right there. Gator Blade Films. And there's a blade on top of the gator, and that's a bloody mess for sure. But there's some films over here, some Blu-rays. Let's see what we can find. Die, die, Delta Pi, ouch. And Joe Vampire. Quite a few people showed up. A lot of people coming to this room. I'm just kind of doing a loop around. I'm taking my time, just enjoying this convention. Now, I've been to a lot of conventions. This one is more personal. It's 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 a tighter space, so 
it's a tighter experience. You get to talk to some of the celebrities a little more, a little more than you usually do. Is what I'm trying to say. So I, I like this. this is, I like sometimes small is good, and it's really good today. Look at this Godzilla 150 piece jigsaw puzzle. That's a relic right there. 149. 149. It's missing. 149. It's missing one. Oh man, it's still worth 25 bucks though. That's pretty cool. I like the artwork. Oh, and VHS classic turtles. They used to hand these out at Burger King. Look, Burger King's Kids Club. This is awesome. I used to. I still have a couple of these. You've heard of they, but have you heard of them? The sci-fi classic of the atomic age. Look at this guy. He's so creepy. Look at this clown. Hey, nice clown shoes, buddy. Jason, mommy's talking to you. Oh, it's Jason from Jason Goes to Heck. Or Jason Goes to Hell. 50 bucks for that pop-up. Right there behind these movie posters. Oh, who's this guy? I think I know who this is. Oh, Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Speaking of Part 2, Mark Patton, star from Elm Street Part 2, was supposed to be here today, but I haven't seen him yet. Maybe he'll show up a little later. Oh, yes. Oh, man. 75 bucks for a Friday the 13th Jason Takes Manhattan. If you haven't seen my Jason Takes Manhattan movie location video I did on Times Square, check that out. Oh, yeah, and the Howling. The Howling 4. Look at that. There's some good movies. Oh, Jason! Oh! <laughs> Oh, I knew it! <laughs> Scariest moment of the day right there. Check it out, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger from Commando, one of my favorite Arnold films. Look, he's wearing the clothes even. The gentleman was just saying, it's it's rare to find him with his clothes on. I don't know, I might I might have to get this. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! This is something I haven't seen before. Back at my fr new friend Andy's booth over here, he's slinging some merchandise, but look at these classic movie monsters. They look like envelopes that you would get at the post office, maybe? There's a stamp. Look, Universal Studios stamp, Hollywood. Oh, look at this guy. I believe he's called a Slimoid. And he's from a movie. Oh, look, there's the movie right there, Slimoids. It's a Slimoids. That's creepy. Now I just want to watch this. Check it out. Wicked the Ewok from Return of the Jedi. Water coloring painting set still sealed in the box. That's like circa 1983. And of course, Empire Strikes Back. I'm going to say this is about 1980, glow in the dark, acrylic paint by number set, and there's two of them there, and they're going for 10 bucks each. That is pretty awesome. Oh, thank you, gentlemen. Sir. Oh, look. Look at that. For a second there, I thought that was Eeyore. All right, check out my pickups. I'm adding to my VHS collection again. I've got the original Nightmare on Elm Street for my Nightmare collection and the Ewok adventure. One of the two Ewok movies now own on VHS. Having a good con, Captain Spaulding? You're a little bit, uh, a little bit quiet. I mean, you're, you're a little too quiet. I was handed this awesome pamphlet as I walked through the door. It is a itinerary or a schedule of the horror movies that they're playing in the room just to the right of here. Okay, so I found the screening room where they're showing the movies. Let's see what's going on right now. Here's the itinerary, the schedule for Saturday. Right now they are playing Slasherette Party. Oh man. I'm sorry for not being such a dick hole, but that does not mean the party has to stop. Eddie, I want you a private show, ladies. <laughs> oh boy, let's get out of here. Local Tampa Bay film company, Icon Film Studios, Chris Woods, writer, producer, director of the, the Sleaze Box. Is that what you call yourselves? Yes, that's our brand. So Icon's like our actual company name, and then the Icon. Sleaze Box is the, is the brand. Speaking of box, that's, no, that's a pizza in there, yeah, isn't it's, it? It's lunchtime at the <laughs> Oh man, that smells so good. Yeah, but, but check them out here. Icon. Hold on, let it focus, focus, focus. I'm having, oh, there we go. Icon Film Studio. I just had the honor and the privilege to meet and chat with Mick Strawn. Also got his autograph. Mick Strawn, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, production designer. Also worked on movies such as Boogie Nights, Blade, Leatherface. And he has a book here, and this is the behind the scenes stories and interviews 
on the production of Nightmare on Elm Street 4. So I had to pick up this book. You can't find it on Amazon. The Dream Masters Reveal. And look, he, he signed it for me. Little inscription here. Tampa J. He nicknamed me Florida Man. He's a funny guy. I really enjoyed my conversation. I never met one in, in the wild, much less at a horror con. There you go. Love you. Mick, that was so awesome to meet him. I picked his brain. I confirmed um, some rumors. Um, I had some questions about some filming locations for part four, and uh, he confirmed that they were just rumors. There was a supposedly a scene filmed in a hospital in, near Echo Park, uh, present day uh, LA Dream Center. I always heard that there was movie. There was a scene from part four filmed in there. I took a tour of it one time, and that is false. That is not. Legit, so very cool to talk to the people who actually made the film to confirm filming locations. But yeah, shout out to Mick, man. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. I hope to see you again. Well, Captain Spaulding, I had a great time behind your shoulders there, behind there in the room at Tampa Bay Screens. I hope you enjoyed this video. Did you enjoy it? Oh, sorry. I don't know. I got excited there. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Give it one of those right down there. Thank you, I appreciate that. Tampa Bay Screams, it was a fun day. I like how more personable it was. It was a smaller room. There wasn't anyone like telling you to get out of the way. I sat there and I talked to the celebrities as much as I wanted and had some really good conversations. And of course I, I bought some goodies. I, uh, I don't splurge a lot on on a lot of things, you know, in my everyday life. But when I come to these conventions, it's like, you know, it's like my Super Bowl. So I'm very big into movies and film and memorabilia of those. So I tend to spend a little money at these things. Not too much, but just a little bit. Man, I love it. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Even though this is the end of the video, it is not the end of this journey. There's much ahead. I've got some fun things coming up very soon. 2021. Much ahead. Here, Tampa, Florida.